Well, hello. Welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm always extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Pisces Love Prediction reading for June 21st through June 27th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please keep in mind that this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else's in your love space energy as well so keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen if you enjoy my reading please give me a subscription or a like i would be most humbled most honored and i'm always very grateful if you decide to do that thank you in advance if you can if this is your reading take the time to listen to the incomplete reading the first five cards i just lay down the storyline for you but the second part of the reading is where i give you the complete story that the spirit guides want me to give you because i clarify the cards and tell you what the spirit guides are telling me to tell you about the reading so if it's your story if it's your reading please take the time just to give me a little bit of your time to listen to the entire reading thank you so much let's see what's going on with my pisces my loving loyal kind free-spirited, kind-hearted Pisces. What's going on with my Pisces, my lovable Pisces? Show me, spirit guys. Show me, spirit guys. What's going on with my Pisces? Thank you for coming to my channel. Show me what's going on. Let's see, Pisces, what you got going on. Ten of Wands. Five of Wands. Ace of Cups. Ace of Swords and the Star. Well, Pisces, you're completing a cycle with someone. You're ending something. You're completing this cycle with someone. Something that has happened and you've completed this cycle. You know, you guys are fighting too because this is the Five of Wands next to this Ten of Wands. Um, and I think it's just because um, the cycle is completing. You're letting them know you're ending this cycle and they want to fight about it. Now, I do believe that they are asking for forgiveness for something. They're asking for forgiveness or perhaps you are asking for forgiveness. Um, but it could be you're asking for forgiveness because you know that you can't be in this situation. And perhaps you know that they love you like they love you. Because this Ace of Cups is a forgiveness card. But it's also a God love, a agape love. That type of uh, love that you have for someone. And you could just have that kind. Not you could, be, you could love someone but not be in love with them. And you, I think that you have figured out that that is what is happening here. You love someone, but you're not in love with them. Um, and you're asking for forgiveness, I think, from the universe and from for them because you know that they love you. You also have the Ace of Swords here, which is the um, card of clarity. It's a card of clarity. It's a card of uh, knowing what you know. It's a card of truth. And I think you've accepted this truth. You know this truth now. And next you have the star card, which could be an Aquarius person, but the star card is one of my favorite cards because it's a card of hope. It's a card of hope and you are hoping and I strongly believe that you are hoping to find someone that you can be in love with rather than, than loving someone. See, because Pisces are very loving people, so they love regardless. But what's happening is um, you want someone that you can be in love with. Perhaps you've had a love of your life and you're not with them anymore and you want that feeling back. You want that love back. But you're ending a cycle with someone that, and you're fighting about it because they love you and you know they love you. So let's see. Give me another three to five minutes and let me clarify the cards for you so I can get the complete picture of what's going on with this situation. Thank you, Spirit Guys. Thank you, Spirit Guys. Can you show me what's going on, Spirit Guys, with this Ten of Wands? Show me why the Ten of Wands is here for my Pisces. Show me why the Ten of Wands is here for Pisces. Show me, Spirit Guys. Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here for my Pisces? Ah, uh, you have the Page of Pentacles. So... Ten of Wands and Page of Pentacles means that that's the beginning of money. You're ending something that involves off offerings of money as well. Um, there's a complete cycle here when it comes to money, offering of money, offering of goods, offering of services. You are ending that with someone. You're completing a cycle with someone when it comes to that. 
Um, but see, five of wands, maybe that's because you're ending the relationship with them. And that means that that money opportunity is not there anymore. So let's see why the five of wands. I think you guys are fighting about that as well. So let's see what the five of wands is here. Uh, look at that. You pull that ace of cups again. Oh, wow. Thank you, spirit guides. <sighs> yes, you're fighting. You're fighting about this because you know that this is, first of all, it's an agape love. You do love this person, but you're not in love with this person. You do love this person and you're trying to ask for forgiveness because you don't really, you don't want to hurt them, but you know you can't keep going because you have this ace of swords here. You don't want to hurt them, but you know you can't keep going. And there's been money, and you have to end this money situation as well that you've had with them. Perhaps they were good to you when it came to that money. But you know that cycle is ending. It's ending because you are trying to show them the truth when it comes to the relationship. So let's see why the Ace of Cups is here. Show me why the Ace of Cups is here for my Pisces. Show me why the Ace of Cups is here for my Pisces. Uh, you have a page of cups. Yeah, see, <laughs> there's that page of cups is, you know, is your identity, but it's also an offering of love. Um, you, as I said, Pisces are loving people. You want them to still forgive you, but you, you don't want to necessarily be with them. You want them to forgive you, but you don't want to be with them in an intimate type of relationship. You see this as a friendship, possibly, as a person that you can have as a friend forever and ever and ever. But as far as that love, that, that in love with someone, you don't see that with this person. And it's very unfortunate, but you don't. The heart knows what the heart uh, wants. So you're offering back to them, even though you don't want to be, you're in a cycle with them. You're not trying to be with them as far as a love, intimate love situation. So let's see why the Ace of Swords is here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Ace of Swords here for my Pisces? Because you're manifesting. Didn't I say it? Thank you, Spirit, guys. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. I love when this Ace of Swords is a clarity, is a truth. And you are manifesting. And you know, like I said, you're manifesting hope. You want to be in love with someone, but you're not in love with this person. But you really want to be in love with someone. And the star card, like I said, is an Aquarius. could be an Aquarius person as well. But you want that truth. That Ace of Swords is a truth card. You are manifesting because you really want to be in love with someone. Not just love them as a God-given love. Yes, that's part of being in love with someone. But you want to be in love. So let's see why the star card is here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the star card here? Ah, uh, look at that. You want a Ten of Cups? I told you. Ten of Cups means it's all good. You are totally in love with someone. You are head over heels in love with somebody. That's what that Ten of Cups is. That, with that star there, that's what that's saying. You want to be with someone that you're in love with. All is good. Happy home. Happy life. Happy family. Happy. I mean, your heart is filled with joy. You just really, really want to be in love and adore someone with that star card there. You want to adore them, not just love them as a God given love. All of that's part of it. You want to be with someone that you adore. Let's start the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands here. It's completing the cycle. And I said with the page of pentacles there means that you probably are ending a cycle where there's been money there, offerings of money, offerings of gift. But you know you have to you have completed that. So that won't be there anymore. You're fighting with this person because not only are you fighting with the person, you're fighting with yourself, too, because you know this person really loves you. But you have a God given love for them. And you're asking them for forgiveness because, you know, you don't want to be with them intimately. You love them. You're hoping that you guys can be friends with this Page of Cups and this Ace of Cups again. Ace of Cups, like I said, that's a forgiving card. That's a God-given love, agape love. You want to be their friend. You're offering your friendship to them with that Page of Cups. You're offering your love, but on a friendship basis, not an intimate basis. Then you have the Ace of Swords, which means this is clarity and truth. You are being very truthful with them. You are being very, very truthful, and you're manifesting what you want. Then you have that star card, which could be an Aquarius person. But that star card means that you are looking and hoping to be in love with someone, to have it all. You don't you you want to be to have friendship, to have a heart space that's on fire for them, to have a great family, um, everything. That is what you're seeking out with that Ten of Cups there. And you want to adore this person. So let's see what the angel oracles have to say. Let's see. Oh. They say communicate clearly. 
And I think you're doing just that. Communicate clearly to someone what you need and what you want and what, what you're trying to achieve in your life. And let them go on and find who they need to find to give them the type of love that you want. That adoring, that God-given, that um, but that um, that, that um, a love that gives you everything, that you're in love with them. That's what I have for you for your love prediction reading.